So why should you listen to anything I have to say on this channel? Well, I've been traveling the United States for, well, I don't really want to say this. I'm going to say it really quiet. Five decades. My parents were divorced when I was only seven, and I started living out of a suitcase at that point. Dad's this week, mom's this weekend, down to go see grandma, going to the coast, going to the beach, riding a ferry somewhere, and there's always that trip to, you know, the aunt and uncle's house, the crazy ones that live out in the country and go deer hunting. I have been going and living out of a suitcase or on the road all my life, and you know what happened? I married a man, and he is a speaker that talks across the entire United States. Me, the constant navigator, and the person who loves maps and going, well, we were the perfect match. He could speak, and I could give us an itinerary of what we were going to do that day. Have you hit the subscribe button yet? So if you want to know what it's like to live on the road, stand in a truck stop when the wind's blowing and the dust is blowing and, and diesel prices are skyrocketing, what do you do? Where do you spend the night when you live on the road? Uh, oh yes, Walmart. Walmart is the best place to sleep. Uh, well, it's not the best, but it is the cheapest. Well, maybe not when diesel prices are so high. So we often do stop at campgrounds and boy, have they gone up. They used to be $20, $25 a night. If you can find one for under $50, take it. So you're asking yourself right now, now, why should I listen to her? Yeah, she's got lots of experience. Yeah, she's somewhere every week. Yeah, she slept in more Walmart parking lots than Sam Walton knew he would ever even own. Oh, well, that seems like a good enough reason. Hit the thumbs up. I can tell you what exit to take to go to the Bonneville Salt Flats. How do I get to Noah Webster's house? And why are there star forts all over America? Where can I go see one? Why should I go to the cave? Why should I go to my state capitol? What is it that I should be doing this Saturday with my family to get them off the couch, get them off the phone, and interact. Wow, you know the thing you used to do with your family? Interact and go somewhere and enjoy it together? Well, let's try and encourage that, and that's the point of this channel. I have so much material. Yes, I've tried the YouTube thing a different way. I've tried the website. I've tried word of mouth, and yes, I do have three books. None have worked to reach you, my targeted audience. Those who want to go places. Those who want to know more. See things experience it firsthand just to see what this nation has to offer. Off and on, the beaten path, the unclassic road trip. Yeah, I've been to Disney World, Disneyland, Manhattan, San Francisco, all the fancy fun places, and we will touch on some of those too. I want to take you to some of those awesome places that, wow, you may have heard about in a textbook. Yes, in geography class in, what was it, fifth or sixth grade, when, when you could care less what was the capital of Nebraska. Well, I want to take you to Lincoln. I want to take you to the Capitol and some fun sights and experience it the way it should have been. Don't forget to subscribe and while you're at it, hit the thumbs up.